11 tonight, a warning for all pet owners after a South Charlotte family's dog nearly died after deer attacked it. Before we show you this, we just want to give you a heads up that some of you might find this disturbing. So here's that video. All of this, of course, as we just said, all caught on camera. So you can see there's a buck darting across the backyard and then attacking the family's pet with its antlers. Yeah, the owner spoke with WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Signs. He has an update on how that dog is doing tonight. Yeah, he also shares who scared the deer away, likely saving the dog's life. We didn't expect it. This security camera video shows the moments Roger Hunter's golden doodle, Finn, was attacked in his own backyard. This all happened so fast. Seconds before, you can see a buck barreling across the backyard, then pummeling the three-year-old dog over and over again, his antlers puncturing the pup repeatedly. And hit him about four different times, pinning him against the fence each time. Then Hunter's wife can be seen running into the backyard, scaring the deer away by waving a towel rescuing her dog just in time. The damage was done. He was beat up. It was very traumatic for her and the dog. They rushed Finn off to Sharon Lakes Animal Hospital off South Boulevard in South Charlotte. Doctors there told the hunters Finn suffered a collapsed lung and multiple puncture wounds all over. Probably seven or so, which were pretty deep. Roger says it all started after Finn chased a doe out of the backyard, the buck likely defending its mate during the rut or mating season. It is very surprising, actually. Moriah Bogus is a deer biologist with the state's Wildlife Commission. He says if something like this was going to happen, it would happen now. Even though deer are um, particularly bold this time of year, and, and some may even be a little aggressive, we very rarely ever get reports of, of a deer um, you know, coming after a dog or a household pet like that. A family pet badly injured and a family speaking out in hopes it doesn't happen to you. Wow. I mean, that video, that is something to see. Um, Hunter, you mentioned that the dog had a punctured lung, among other injuries. How is Finn doing? Yeah, well, it was transferred. Finn was transferred over to Long Animal Hospital. He will stay there likely through the Thanksgiving holiday, but they are so grateful for the staff that are making this dog survive. Yeah. Wow. And is there anything that people can do to keep this from happening to them and their dog? Yeah, so you and I have talked about this. We're going to see deer. We uh -huh. see them in the city limits. We definitely see them in the rural areas. It's it's going to be common. The good news here is the Wildlife Commission says that it's not like they're rapidly growing in our area. They're staying pretty steady. Mm -hmm. But the number one thing is to not nurture them. Don't feed them. They are wild for a reason. Oh, wow. Don't try mm -hmm. to invite them into your yard because they can become territorial like we just saw. It didn't happen here. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the case. It's very rare. But definitely don't go out of your way to welcome them. They're not domestic animals. Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> All right, Hunter, thank you. Absolutely.